be true to Allah, be true to his book, be true to his messenger, and you will find the love will emulate and emanate from your heart in such a beautiful way that people will see it in your face. You will be the most content person because you know why you are in the world. The most content from amongst us are those who know why they are here. Do you know that? The most happy from amongst us, they could be sick, they could be ill, they could be poor, they could be people who really no one looks towards, but they will be the most happy, they will be the happiest, the most content if they just know why they are here. That's all. So this is why Allah makes it very clear in the Quran and in several places why he has brought us into this world and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has explained it too. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind or jinn kind except that they worship me. And this would mean that we have been primarily created just to be tested by Allah for a few years. You came into the world, you could not speak. You were taught how to speak. You were dressed. You were taught so many things. And you had to find Allah, worship Allah alone and continue worshiping Allah. And he would put obstacles in your life just to test you. You pass those obstacles, then he takes you away. And when he takes you away, you've either passed or failed. May he make us from amongst those who've passed. This is life. It is very, very short, extremely short. Before you know it, you will be old. You may not be able to walk. Before you know it, you will be in your grave. But what would have happened? A lot of us come into the test and we think that this is eternal life. So we begin to lead our lives in a way that we transgress against Allah's commands until the day comes when we die and we realize what did I really achieve and what have I prepared for, for the journey from now on. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us.